Welcome to the Purpose Driven Mom Show, episode 380. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make themes for your business. Now, this video was actually taken from the Mompreneur Roadmap, which is a brand new course I have coming in January. But the concept of Dream, Learn, Plan, Do is something I teach in the Purpose Driven Mom Club for your personal goals as well. One of the things I notice with newer business owners and, and business entrepreneurs is they struggle very much to figure out where do I put my focus? Where do I put my time and energy? What am I doing? And so inside this um, lesson, I'm going to show you my dream, learn, plan, do framework. I'm going to talk to you about how to start with the end in mind. If you haven't made goals for the rest of the year, um, you're going to want to come purposedrivenmom.com slash club so we can help you do that or think about your goals. And you're going to use this framework to help you figure out your business focus. One of the struggles with the new entrepreneurs I work with is the fact that they feel like they have to do everything. And I know it is hard. You are learning these things. The jargon's getting thrown at you. You don't know how to start your business. But can I encourage you to take a pause? Can I encourage you to take a step back and ask yourself, where should I put my focus now? This video is going to show you um, and walk you through my steps, right? So if you're listening to the podcast um, on your podcast player and you want to watch me teach this, you're going to want to go to our YouTube channel, Purpose Driven Mom. We'll have it linked over in the show notes. Just swipe up on your player and you can watch this where I show you this framework and I show you how to do it. You can get all the same content listening on the podcast. And But if you're on YouTube, thank you for being here. Make sure you hit that subscribe um, and like this because we're trying to really ramp up our YouTube channel. It's also just really good to watch it be visually taught. So you can head over to the show notes. Those are going to be at a purposedrivenmom.com slash podcast 380, where you can watch this video, learn more about it. And hey, go to a purposedrivenmom.com slash club right now. If you want to join our cohort, doors close tonight, Thursday, the 2nd of November. We want to see you there. We want to have you in this cohort before the year ends. Let's help you with your business goals, your personal goals, and everything in between. I want to show you now how to start with the end in mind. I'm going to talk to you about how you can set up your dream, learn, plan, do backwards plan. Inside this section, I kind of taught you a little bit about how do you figure out what to learn, what that's going to look like, and how do you make your goals. Once you have your goals made, now you can use the dream, learn, plan, do framework to get a focus for each month. I'm going to show you the system now. Now, this is an example of a chart October through March, but which I would recommend you do is at least 90 days, if not um, doing a full six months and kind of mapping them out between dream, learn, plan, and do. Now, a couple caveats here. You don't have to have it be exactly the same, right? Um, some months my learn is the same. Some months I have multiple things in each month that I'm learning, right? It just depends on your pace. So I just want to get the perfectionist out of your head right now that you do not have to have it be exactly the same. You could say to yourself, all right, cool. I am going to learn for one week on this topic and three weeks on another. I'm going to spend one day on this learn. I'm going to spend, spend a month on it. I like to have a more singular focus because it helps me, but just know that it's not always one month at a time. Now, let's backwards plan. And we're going to start with the goals. If you made your goals, if you said, this is where I want to go for 90 days, now we can backwards plan it so that you're not scrambling. One of the things that I did not like as a teacher was going into class on Monday and having to do things for my Monday morning classes. That is a terrible feeling. So I would never leave on Fridays until all of my copies were made for the entire week. I would have my week planned out. I would have multiple classes that I taught because what was gonna happen was, one, I knew something was gonna come up, so I would need my prep time to actually solve a problem and not plan for the week. But also, then I knew where I wanted my class to go. I knew where I wanted to go and I could be better prepared. It's the same in your business. If you know where you wanna go, instead of saying, oh crud, I have to get this stuff ready for my launch, which is next week, you can have been working on that three weeks in advance. Now, I know in the beginning, it feels like there's so much to do, but just know you don't have to get as you know super ahead. Like we like to be as ahead as possible here because we don't want to have to put all of the fires, but it just allows for a more aligned business and it just feels really good, if that makes sense. So here's your first step, outline your dues. So this is an example of dues for me um, in my personal business from October to March. In October, I want to be doing launch planning uh, promotion. That's what I'm working on. Um, I also want to work on our SOP project, which is a team-wide project, and I want to be working on 2024 planning. All right, those are the 30-day goals. In November, I want to be continue working on, um, so I'm sorry, start working on my 2024 planning launch. So we have a launch in October and a launch in December. I want to film a new course, which is this course you're talk, you're watching right now. I want to continue filming it and getting it done. And I want to work on the SOP project. So see how I have multiple goals. You know, some of them are singular focused. Some are content focused, like the launch one. Um, but I know my goals. In December, 
I want to do launch promotion, right? Like just putting in action, uh, work, finish up the SOP project. And then I want to set up the new course, right? I want to get the course set up in our system. I want to get ready for a launch of the course, etc. In January, I'm going to launch it and create an evergreen funnel where the course, this course, the Mompreneur Roadmap is available all the time for people whenever they're ready to start their business. And I need to start doing summit prep because our summit is going to be in March. And so I need to start doing the thing, right? Like I'll already have it planned out. We know who we want to pitch, but I need to do the interviews and get it all set up. February is summit prep and starting to work on my new book. And March is the same summit prep and book. Okay. So now that I know what my do is now I can backwards plan another step and I can go to the plan. So here's the plan. Let's start here. Um, so I put quarter two content. I'm going to plan it out because April, May, June, I like to do that. If I know that I want to work on my summit prep in my book, I want to be planning out what that looks like months in advance, okay? So you see how I have here in January, I'm going to plan out the book and then I'm going to start working on it in February. In November, I'm going to plan out the summit and start working on it in January and February. Now, why am I not working on it in December? I might do a little bit of work for it, but I have a launch. It's the holidays. It doesn't work for my season. Remember, we talked about that. Um, and then I want to do an in-person event in 2024. So I want to start planning it in February so that at our summit in March, we can announce it to everyone. Um, again, in December, I'm going to plan out my new course launch because it's going to launch in January. And in October, I'm going to plan out all my big picture 2024 stuff. So now we're here in the learn section. So how do I know what I want to learn based on where I want to go? And the only things I need to put a learn for are things that I just don't have a plan for yet. So I put my learn in March is that life coach certification I talked about in a previous video. I wanted to get a new one. It just doesn't fit for me right now. So I'm just going to push it off and I'm going to do it in March. I don't have to do it. I already have my certification. This was just like extra uh, learning for me. I want to learn my uh, in-person event stuff. Now, isn't this interesting? Look here. I'm going to learn and plan the same month, which is totally fine. I also want to start learning it in January. So I want to do all my learning in January, finish it up in February and start planning in February so that I can start really like getting it up the ground in March. Um, and then as we backwards plan, I want to learn some book stuff. So I wrote a book. I know how to write a book. I want to get back into learning. So my learning for the book will not be as intense as it was the first time, right? Where I was in a coach, uh, I had a coach, I was in a course. Um, it was pretty, pretty heavy duty, right? My learning for this one instead is going to be kind of reacclimating myself to some of the new book stuff that's going on, all the AI stuff I don't know about, things like that. Just getting my head in the game. Um, in November, my learning is going to be an evergreen funnel because as you can see, I'm going to be launching a new course in January. I want to get it on evergreen. So I'm going to spend some time in November just starting to learn some strategies so that I can start working on it in December. And then my October learners is going to be focused around summit stuff. Again, I've run six summits. I know how to do it, but I want to just start listening to a couple of podcasts. So this is like, I'm not going to buy a new course, but I'm going to just go back to Summit in a Box, which is my favorite summit podcast. And that's who I learn from and just start listening to her episodes again. Just get my head in summit mode, if you will, because it's easy to get out of it. So you see how it's all kind of backwards planned. Then we backwards plan the dream. That was the last phase we taught. Okay. So my dream in March is going to be thinking about quarter two, because I'm going to start planning it out. Again, you don't see that I have any learning about quarter two stuff yet, because it's just my content, right? I just want to batch ahead podcasts and things like that. I don't really need to learn. So again, you don't need to learn on everything. You need to learn on some things. Um, and you can decide in February, look here. And in January, I'm dreaming about the in-person event. I'm doing all those phases at once. Why? Because that's what works for me in my calendar and that's what I want to be doing. Um, and I think that's really important. You, you recognize it doesn't always have to be something different. You can spend multiple months on things if you want. And then in December, my dreaming is like just my big picture. Like I just want to dream about the big picture of my business, the big picture of where we're going, um, and just give myself some time for some research. In November, I want a big picture, think about this new book. Um, I want to start doing some of the dream stuff that I taught you, where I get on interviews with people. I do market research. I use AI to really think about the new book so that it's easier to write. And then in October, I'm going to dream about the summit. What do we want our summit to look like so that I'm ready to launch it? Okay. So I want you to make your plan. Again, you don't have to do six months like I did. I just wanted to show you a bigger picture. You can just do the 90 days to get started. And this is gonna help you make your learning plan. See how it all ties in. You want to make sure that you've spent the time figuring out where your goals are going so that you can then say, if I know this is where my goals are going, I can then figure out what I need to plan and when, what I need to learn and when, and when I need to dream it. This way you're always on a cycle with your business. You're never staying still. You're never stuck in learning mode. You're moving forward on things. And you can have some months where you're learning 
Again, taking an intensive for three months, that's my learn. And that's acceptable. It's your business, okay? And just reminding yourself, you're always gonna have to learn something. It's never gonna end for you. But if you at least make a plan, then I think you will feel so much more in control of your new business instead of feeling like everything is getting thrown at me. I'm an information overload. I don't know where to focus. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This allows you to make your plan. All right, we're gonna talk in the next lesson about how to break down your plan and how to make it a reality, but I want you to make your plan first. That's gonna set you up for absolute success in starting your new business.